everyone this is lamin sana of ls web apps and in this video let's see how we can um put a form right underneath the list of to do's here so that we can add a new to do to this list of to do's okay so inside of our to do's template obviously we're gonna have to create a form here okay and um, inside there we're gonna need two um, input fields one is an input of type text uh, sorry Okay, input of type text and another one is an input of um, of type submit okay so um we're gonna have to give this a value of um, add and uh, that's not very relevant but uh, it's nice to have there and in here let's um bind this to the component property which we are yet to create so the way you do a binding from a form input to an angular um, class property is you do like this so you have two square brackets and then you have um two brackets inside there so this is two-way binding if you do this it's one-way binding but um this is what we need okay so in here we're gonna have to bind to to do um title and then equal to to do title okay or actually that is wrong we're gonna have to do ng model and then we're binding um that to the to do title so what ng model does is basically saying okay what is the model for this input field in this case of course is the value so angular is very smart in knowing that when we do ng model we mean the value for the input field okay so let's go ahead and um create that property in our to do um, component class so in here we're gonna have to create a to do title equal to an empty string okay so just to show you that that um, is binding here i'm going to create a temporary p tag here which we will delete but i just want to show you something so let's do to do title okay so we're binding that in the template here i'm going to go to the browser when i type anything here it's going to show that in the p tag here as you can see okay so that shows us that the binding is working properly so i'm going to delete that because we don't need that so next I'm gonna add an event handler to the form here to say um, when we submit the form we want to call an action on the controller okay so let's say ng submit equal to on form submit or on add to do okay so basically it's like we're calling a function and this is the syntax so we're gonna have to create this uh, method on the template um, class here so let's go ahead and do that right after ng on init don't worry what that means and um, in here we're gonna have to do okay um, var or let this is um, es6 so let new to do equal to object and then it has to have a title and um, the value for the title is this dot um, to do title okay and um, next we're gonna have to push this new to do here inside of this to do's list so let's do this does to do's dot push and then what, what do we want to push we want to push new to do okay and next we want to clear out the value in the form input field so let's do this dot to do title equals to an empty string okay so i'm here back in the browser now we have a form here now when i type to do five and i press enter it's added to the list of our to do's so when i do to do six i could choose to click on add here that will do the same as well okay so uh, before we end this video i just want to take a quick um look at the syntaxes we've used okay so if you want to call a, a method or an event this is how you do it you just do um, two um, curve brackets like this that these are all angular specific and as you learn angular you will be aware of many of them there's ng submit there's ng model but ng model is not an event it's just a uh, binding and this one is just binding this event to um, this method here this is binding this um, directive to this uh, class property okay so there are two different things and these are the syntaxes it's just a matter of getting used to them there's nothing special about them this is a property this is a method okay so um yeah so that brings us to the end of this video and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in another video cheers bye bye